Hi fellow teachers, I have some really great news. Now on TeacherMade, you can auto grade when using the Algebra Expression tool. I'm going to show you how to use this new feature and I'm going to give you some shortcuts as well. First, you're going to go up to Insert, then Math, Algebra Expression. You can drag and drop your box in and you'll notice there's no longer a formula, but there's a question mark. That means that there's a point value assigned to it but there's no answers yet. So we wanna go up to Edit Algebra Expression. You'll notice that there is a point value. You can always change this, and then it will say List Correct Expressions. You wanna click where it says Add an Expression, and this is where you're going to type in your answer. You'll notice that the toolbar up here is the same that your students will see when they're putting in their answers. For this one, the answer is three times 10, to the power of four. If I erase this four, a warning will appear saying that I'm missing a part of my answer. So it checks it for you. So if I even go back here and I put a space, it'll say that there's a warning as well. When you're writing your formulas, you don't wanna add spaces in, but if your students add a space in, TeacherMade will automatically take those spaces out and give them credit if it is correct. So I'm gonna go back and I'm going to put 10 to the power of four and there's my answer. You'll notice down here, this is just the underlying expression. A little shortcut you can do though is instead of using the toolbar, if I erase my four and go back to my 10, I can hold down the shift key and push the little caret above the six, and that will bring me up to put in my exponent. And I can put my exponent right there. I'm going to save this, and then I'm going to add an expression, and I'm just going to switch it around. So I will do 10 to the power of four. And when I do that, if I want to have my line go back to my baseline, so I can put in my multiplication sign, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my right arrow. My right arrow on my keyboard will bring me back to that baseline, so now I can do times three. And I will save that answer. I will save my changes here. And you'll notice that my first expression will appear. My other expression is still there, it's just the first one that you put in will always appear in your box. I'll go down to our next problem. It says write the expression in standard notation. So I'm going to go up to insert, math, and then bring in my algebra expression box. Now I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to add my expression here, and I'm going to put three x plus, I'm going to go up here to a fraction, and put one half. A little shortcut that you could do is you can put one slash two and it'll automatically make it into a fraction. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to add another one in. And remember, you can come up here to where the fraction is, or I'm just going to put one slash two. I wanna bring it back to my baseline now. So I'm going to push the arrow button on my keyboard, the right arrow. And then I'm going to put in plus 3x. And I'm going to save those changes there. So they can write it either way and they'll still get credit. So I'll save changes and now I'll go on to my last one. So I'm going to go to insert, algebra expression, edit, add an expression. And now my answer is going to be in a fraction form. So I'm going to put 5 x plus 5 over 6 and I'm going to save that and then I'm going to insert in another one by just putting 5 plus 5x over 6 and I'll save my changes. So now it's ready to go. I'm going to show you what your student will see after they turn it in, if they get it correct or incorrect. So I'll go to view and I'll go to preview and I'm going to type in the correct answer here. So I'll type in three times 10 
to the power of 4. This one I'm going to leave out the x so I can show you what it looks like when they get it wrong. I'm going to do 3 plus 1 half. And then my last one is my fraction. 5x plus 5 over 6. I'm going to go up to check my answers. And you'll see that the correct answers are in green. When I hover over them, it'll show the student answer and the correct answers. If it's red, they got it incorrect, where you'll see the student answer and then the correct answers, so they can check their work. And the last one here is correct. So now I can hope that you can go back and add in some auto grading to all of your worksheets where you have the algebraic expression tool. I hope this was helpful.